Yo, what's good, homies? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk and daily nade shot news. Might be a new segment. Yeah, I know, guys, but it's some great topics as well. Brought to us by the latest Courage and Nade Shot show, Minus Courage. I hope you guys and encourage you guys as well to go check this out because it was with two of your homies. That being Clayster and Crim6 had amazing topics to talk about, and I'm going to probably break down a future video, uh, maybe on some other topics, guys. Two I wanted to focus on, though, was the Activision blacklist that both Nade Shot and apparently Crim6 have under are gone and the sacrifices Dallas Empire made to make a championship roster for COD Champs this past season. Uh, guys, I, I, I'm speechless when I heard this kind of stuff. First and foremost, of course, we've talked about multiple times in this channel, that being the treatment between Activision and Nade Shot. Some neglection, I would uh, I would say uh, some neglection by a, by a lot of things uh, that it can be explained away, but certainly was suspicious uh, about the treatment that Nade Shot was actually getting for several events out there. Apparently, he has now talked to Activision to try and resolve those issues. Even Crimsix apparently goes on to state that he in the past was also blacklisted because he had helped work on some Rainbow Six maps, which is a story that I never knew about. Apparently, Crim6 and Nade Shot have both had their experience with the classic Activision Blacklist. I, uh, wait, do you agree with this? I think, well, Nate, you played it, right? No, 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 I didn't get invited to play it. <laughs> the, the, kid, the kid's been on what we like to call a Blacklist. But, uh... Uh, no, no, no. You know what? I actually got some clarity behind it because... I wasn't able to play in a Twitch Rivals tournament. I wasn't invited to the Vicstar tournament. I wasn't invited to the Cold War demo. And so I, I reached out to Activision like, do? hey, guys, listen, you know, I, I, and I'm sorry if uh, it seems on social media as if I'm trashing your game or trashing your company. You know, I, I told him, I'm like, listen, my, my career at the end of the day was built off the back of Call of Duty. And yeah. I, I just want to make amends and let this be water under the bridge and let's work together in some way or another right because obviously in the heat of the moment you're entertaining viewers and you always <laughs> want to be as transparent as possible and try to be funny and at, at times it's like you always forget there's somebody on the other side of what you're yeah. saying and dealing with and so i just don't want there to be drama 100 so hopefully yeah. in the future I'll, I'll start being a part of these processes again and we'll see uh what i was gonna say Dude, well, one, I, I've been blacklisted, too. I got blacklisted because I was helping design the, because uh, I had to, actually, help design Rainbow Six Siege. Really? Well, yeah. Siege is a great game. Uh, dude, we played it with me, the, the Cole team played it when it was fucking black and white, uh, like, way back, like, pre-alpha type shit. But anyways, the, uh, play, are, do you agree with this? I think the maps are going to make or break the game. I think that if the maps are not like really, really good, uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm like completely unsure. So hopefully those things will be resolved. Apparently Nate Shot has been in contact with Activision to try and figure those problems out. Uh, but a pretty cool story nonetheless. I would say even cooler. I, I cannot stress enough to you guys. Super curious what you think about this. There's a lot of moments where you hear some things, you see some things in the scene, and you just garner a lot of respect for individuals. Hook has now my full respect because if this is true, which I'm going to frankly assume it is, that being Crimson coming out and saying that Hook to play on the Dallas Empire to make this roster work to eventually go on to win our first franchise season of CDL champs with that five-man roster, Hook took a $100,000 or more salary pay cut to make it happen. Just think about that. And no, bring it I up, wish. bro. Bring I it up, this. please, bro. No, I'm taking... Someone's gonna do it. And you're so, gonna be, you might be the first. I'm getting compensated heftily. Like I'm more than happy with it. I could definitely get more if I wanted, but I wouldn't have the teammates that I want. I, I want to be year. able to compete and win next year. Like yeah. I did with Empire this year, took a pay cut to play on Empire, won a world championship. So like that brings me more satisfaction than an extra hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand 300,000 dollars, like no bullshit. Yeah. So like, I would rather win it with a team in a world title getting 300k that way than just getting like a guaranteed 300 on my salary like genuinely I love that. and that, oh. that shows experience and leadership bro like dude, for dude, real dude clay i didn't know this and i don't know if you know tyler so hook took one of a, our teammates took a 100k plus salary cut to make this team happen bro and this is like sacrifices man this isn't like skunk, bro. This is literally like that might that could have been half his fucking contract for all you know. 
know what I mean? Like a hundred. He's a good kid, man. He understands yeah, what he wants, dude. dude. And and bro, like that is insane, dude. When I found that out, I was like, holy shit, bro. Because, uh, dude, it was like the amount of respect. Like, yeah, that's a ton of sacrifice, you know, especially from a young kid. Exactly. A hundred k when you're 21 is a lot of money, dude. We're, we're, we're actually running out of time here and I've got- The kid is in his early 20s and he potentially cut what could be half his salary, right? We know that top Call of Duty pros are making 200K plus, but we don't know the exact range of that. Is who considered in that range? We do not know those exact figures, but just think about that for a gosh dang second. He took and he willingly took, he was told he would have to take a hundred thousand dollar pay cut if you want this roster to work you want some big dogs with experience you want some young guns like Shotzi with big buyouts and big salaries i'm going to pay you a hundred thousand dollars less and the kid goes yeah sure i want to win i have this this month this year i don't know if i've ever had so much respect for an individual because i can guarantee you guys hey i'll be honest I'm not I'm not making near as much as that so I can't even cut that because if I cut that I'd be losing a lot of money But I can tell you guys right now if my boss came in here and said Jake I want you to cut half your salary to make this work. I Don't know if I would do that and and not to mention it's a lot less money, right? Uh, what if it was if what if I had to forfeit a hundred thousand dollars? Would would I do that to make this work? I do not know, but Hook, at the age of, is he 21 years old, chose to do that and the Empire go on to win champs? That is loyalty that Hastro has talked about with this kid, and he has my full respect. I have never heard a story like that. It was absolutely amazing. Make sure to go check out this uh, this episode, guys, with both Clayster and Crim6. Obviously, Clayster making a gigantic sacrifice after they won champs, so... Just an entirely incredible roster all around. And uh, thanks to Nadeshot for the great podcast as well. Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy. You know what to do, all right? I don't got to tell you. Enjoy your weekend. I'll catch you guys back here sometime soon. Take care.